Hi friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Here uh, one more training uh, uh, video from uh, oil and gas training. Welcome to this video. In this video we are uh, discussing about uh, desalter. Desalter is the one is the one of the major uh, equipment uh, using in uh, oil and gas uh, gathering system. So the crude oil coming from the wellhead after treatment of separator, this is uh, sometimes uh, <coughs> it is mixed with salt and minerals. And uh, so desalter is using for to separate salt from the crude oil. So we will discuss more about the construction, design, operation parameter, um, uh, control system, various uh, process variables, uh, etc, etc in this video. Welcome to this video. In the desalting system, wash water, water low in contaminants, that is a fresh water actually, is mixed into the crude oil, the coming from the separator. In a special mixing valve, that disperses the water into extremely small droplets. This mixing water this mixing of water and oil causes freshwater droplets to contact brain droplets and various water soluble impurities in the oil. The droplet of wash water now combined with the drop, droplets of brain form large drops that are separated from the crude oil by high voltage electricity and the force of gravity. This process is called electrostatic coalescence. A demulsifier chemical is added to the crude oil before the separators. This helped reduce the amount of oil entrained or trapped in the water, thus reducing the amount of oil carried out of the desalter with the effluent water. In earlier session, we have discussed that one. There are three type of uh, helpers using in uh, better separation. One is uh, the chemical helper or uh, accelerating the uh, better separation, like a, that is a demulsifier, emulsion breaking chemical. The another one is uh, mechanical <coughs> helper. That is the various internals are using inside the separator that also so supporting, accelerating or helping better separation. Another one is uh, this uh, thermal helper uh, that is uh, heat exchanger is uh, using uh, uh, before the uh, separation process. So three helpers are there. One is the important uh, uh, catalyst is uh, helping chemical is a demulsifier is also using before the a desalter for uh, uh, mixing with uh, proper with this emulsified oil and water emulsion mixture. So it will be helping that breaking the emulsion before entering to uh, desalter. I look into the simple uh, process flow diagram of a uh, desalter or desalting system. <coughs> Uh, one side it is uh, process water is coming or uh, unrefined crude is coming from the bottom or one stream is uh, entering to the vessel and the same time the another uh, process water that is a fresh water uh, coming to the uh, before uh, coming to the vessel and both the crude oil and water is mixing to the uh, same lane or mixing entering joining together into a mixing wall and uh, it is entering to the gravity settler here that is a desalter. So here uh, just to please notice that when heat exchanger is there, emuls emulsifier is there adding and the vessel is uh, connected with the electrical power. <coughs> so the desalter is working separating the crude uh, salt from the crude using fresh water that is the process and by the help of electrical power. So here electrical power also working as a uh, helper or accelerator or supporting uh, catalyst or uh, supporting uh, system 
for uh, uh, salt removal from crude oil. This is uh, another picture uh, uh, showing that uh, well explained by desalter or desalting process and crude oil is entering that is the green line and the blue line is the feed water. So the feed water and using uh, maximum energy saving here. So crude oil is around 100 degrees C coming from the heater and the fresh water is uh, uh, heating. Fresh water is uh, 30, 40 normal degree, uh, normal ambient temperature uh, feed water is heating up to 300, 120 degree C and you see mixing together and entering to a desalter. Of course, desalter is uh, uh, producing that is uh, separating the crude oil and the crude oil is uh, entering for uh, a desalter crude oil is releasing from the vessel from one end and the brain sludge that is also going from the top and that is green line desalter effluent that is also going to another side. So these are the well explained picture of a desalter system. Please review and understand properly. Let us review the process description. Uh, wash water is added to the incoming crude oil stream from the separators ahead of the desalter vessel. The crude oil and water mixer passes through a special mixing valve before entering to the desalter vessel. The mixing valve creates an emulsion to disperse the water throughout the crude oil in extremely small droplets by the emulsifying action. The water oil mixture stream enters the bottom of the desalter vessel and flows into the distributor section of the desalter. The distributor meters the crude oil at a uniform rate throughout the length of the vessel. An electrical field is created between the upper and lower electrodes. The electrical field which provides initial treatment of the oil and water emulsion is created between the lower electrode and the oil water interface in the vessel. The water level should always be maintained above the distributor holes. Almost immediately after the crude oil enters an electrical field, the water droplets begin to combine or coalesce as opposite electrical charges attract one another. The coalescing action created by the attraction of the water droplets to one another create larger and larger droplets until finally water drops are large enough to fall out of the crude oil by force of gravity or natural suppression of oil and water. Desalter main components Inlet emulsion distributor and Inverter, inverted pan distributor is used to uniformly meter the incoming crude oil throughout the entire length of the vessel below the electrodes. A pressure drop is created at the distributor so that the incoming oil and water mixture is metered out at a low velocity which also encourages the oil and water emulsion to separate. The oil water interface in the vessel is controlled to be always above the distribution holes in the pan distributor. Outlet collector. An internal pipe located at the top of the desalter vessel runs the length of the vessel near the crown. This pipe collects treated oil which leaves the vessel through an outlet nozzle. Collector holes situated on the top of the pipe permit oil to enter the collector. Drain holes at the bottom of the collector ensure that crude oil drains out the pipe of the pipe if the vessel must be emptied. Electrode assembly. The desalter uses an electric field to desalt crude oil. This field is created between two electrodes. One electrode is grounded and a transformer energizes the other electrode. The electrodes must be installed a level at a level and must remain level to ensure uniform voltages between them. Desalter system performance. 
it is important that the desalter unit maintains the best possible degree of salt removal while it is in normal operation there are several operating factors which affect the desalting efficiency of the unit and since most of these factors are controlled by instrumentation it is important to know what the factors are and what effect they have on the optimum operation of the desalter unit the major factors which affect desalter efficiency are oil flow rate wash water injection rate mixing intensity emulsifier type and dosing vessel water level process temperature and pressure the following paragraph explain the effect on system performance of each factors above oil flow rate if oil throughput is increased above the design capacity of the desalting system a loss in desalting efficiency can be expected wash water injection rate as water washer injection rates are increased from the minimum to maximum rate better desalting efficiency should be obtained mixing intensity mixing intensity refers to the degree of oil and water mixing that is achieved in a mixing valve due to the pressure drop across the valve the greater the pressure drop the greater the mixing intensity under mixing or over mixing can occur under mixing an insufficient pressure drop result insufficient salt removal and low water carry over if under mixing is a problem it will be necessary to increase the pressure drop at the mixture over mixing or too great pressure drop can also occur another one is a demulsifier type and dosage a change in demulsifier dosage or type may take precipitation more effective for the crude being treated either too little or too much demulsifier added to the untreated crude may increase the amount of salt in the treated oil let us review various process variable and a control system <coughs> involving in the uh, efficient operation of a desalter or a desalting system an extremely mounted level controller connected to an internal float at the oil and water interface controls the flow of effluent water through a control valve and maintains the water level according to the instrument reset point water exits through an outlet nozzle at the bottom of the vessel to draw oil exit the vessel through a collector pipe near the top of the vessel so one of the important process variable is uh, uh, the level inside uh, the interface level between uh, oil and uh, water the oil water interface so if it is uh, decreasing increasing it will affect the system performance uh, vessel water levels the interface in a vessel the transition region where water and oil meet must be maintained at a level below the electrodes but not so low that oil in water carry under increases if the water level rises to the electrode zone the electrodes will be shorted out for optimum desalting efficiency of this type of low velocity desalter the water level must be maintained above the distributor inlet holes therefore the high and low levels limits are fixed and the actual control point is somewhere between the two next one is a process temperature the system operating temperature should be maintained within the range for which the system is designed a loss in desalting efficiency may be experienced outside this range for example if the desalter unit experiences a higher than normal system in system temperature which causes gassing to occur in a vessel desalting efficiency may be reduced if the operating temperature is too low emulsion resolution oil and water separation will not be as complete the process pressure the pressure control of the system should maintain a pressure at the vessel which is at least 20 psi g above the vapor pressure of the oil and water mixture in the vessel 
This prevents the oil and water from vaporizing, expanding and forming gas in the vessel. If the system pressure decreases for any reason, gassing may occur in the vessel. Symptoms of excessive gassing are arcing at the electrode zone, variations in voltmeter readings, excessive, uh, excessive uh, uh, water in the treated oil and poor salt removal. It can be seen from the above explanation that changes in operating parameters can greatly affect the desalter efficiency. In controlling desalter uh, units, uh, these three performance criteria are uh, most important. The salt remaining in the treated oil must be kept to a minimum. The water uh, carried over into the treated oil must be kept to a minimum. The oil carried under with the effluent water must be kept to a minimum. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel for a timely updates and information. Uh, uh, definitely we will update more videos on oil and gas operation and uh, other details. Thanks for watching.